So let's start with telling them they've done something right. Uh, a positive mark, okay? How many people have ever heard this noise? <laughs> How many clicker trainers do I have in the group? There's a few, okay. So all this is is a noise that tells our dog that they've done something right, okay? Um, it can also be a word. I find a lot of times when I'm teaching classes, people look at me and go, look, I just do not have the coordination to hold a treat bag, a clicker, talk to my dog, and do something else. And I'm going to pick a unique word, okay? Um, it can be, thank you. It could be good dog. I don't like the really common ones. I don't want to use okay, good dog, things like this. But if somebody has to, as long as the dog, that's the only thing they use, it'll be fine. Get creative. Name the dog, you know, the, the, you know, the positive mark could be Baby J, Jayhawk. <laughs> Jimmy Buffett concert's coming up. It could be, you know, Pineapple Rum. It could be Margaritaville. I, I, just pick a word that every time your dog does something right, they get the mark. Now, what always follows the mark? The treat. The treat. Now, the trick to this is, I always tell people, the mark has to come within two seconds of the behavior, and the treat has to come within two seconds of the mark. So unfortunately, when you are using a clicker or a positive mark, your timing has Let's say I'm standing here and I go sit, and I'm a half a second late, and I click. Let's say the dog was chewing on a flea on his butt at the time I clicked. <laughs> you have just positively marked the dog for chewing on his butt, not sitting down. So what happens is when we ask the dog to sit, the moment the rear end touches the ground, good dog. Thank you. There's the reward.